With the reveal of Black Ops 6, hype is at an all-time high with the franchise, but we still got a long time until October 25th. Rest assured, I will keep my subscribers up to date with the latest leaks as they come out. And so far, my sources have been 100% accurate, so go check out my YouTube Shorts videos for that. Once Black Ops 6 is released, you can bet on it that I will be hosting free modded lobbies for my subscribers and posting all the latest glitches. But until then, we can take advantage of all the great glitches in Modern Warfare 3, so here's a compilation of all the best working glitches in Modern Warfare 3 Season 4. Now, I have multiple game-breaking glitches for you guys here, so make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to support. Let me know in the comments down below if Black Ops 6 is a W or L so far. I'm giving it a W because I am super excited for round-based zombies. Here are all the glitches included in this video and their timestamps, but you can also just use YouTube video chapters at the bottom of this video to skip through and watch the videos that you are actually interested in and skip over the ones that you're not. This is a culmination of countless hours worth of work, so if you want to support, like, comment, and subscribe, and with all of that said, please enjoy. Here's every method for the tombstone duplication glitch, including Essence, working in Season 4. Now this video includes a ton, including how to get unlimited Essence, solo and team duplication glitches, an extremely lazy alternative way, and much more. With the new schematics out, it's important to know you don't have to risk your items to attempt the new Dark Aether. With the tutorial that I have in this video, you can attempt it without risking a single item and grind and get those new schematics super easy. Now in today's video, I'm going to be as helpful as possible and to do so, I'm going to run you through a typical game of mine so that you can see what your game should be looking like as well as how to do this glitch every single time with a 100% success rate. So here I am in a game and my inventory is already full of rare items. I also have on the map an existing tombstone. Now this is important to note because as you can see, I have a backup of items. Essentially, that tombstone contains everything that you see here on my screen. So the purpose of this is obvious you skip over your cooldowns that you typically would have to wait for so at the start of every game i will drink a tombstone soda upgrade a pack a punch level 3 scorcher and make my way over to my tombstone now with this glitch it you pretty much get a backup of items that's the best way i can describe it so you can see here i have two ether blade cases but i already have one equipped i have a upgraded scorcher but i have a second one in my tombstone and it's really up to you to save whatever items are most important some games you won't use one and you You'll literally have to drop them you can see how much extra i have i already have upgraded weapons i don't need five crystals in my inventory so it's really up to you to decide what is most important to you for me it is an upgraded scorcher every single game because it only takes about 30 seconds to a minute to get anywhere also make sure you call out other players and give your spare items just for good luck because honestly i always have something to give up and typically people are pretty surprised but there should be a purple portal on the edge of the graveyard typically it does show up not every single time and if someone takes it it will disappear momentarily so if you see one make sure you take it you can get some free essence while you fall but where we're going to go over to is the bad signal area now for this glitch i typically use bad signal because it is the easiest possible way to actually do this glitch you need this mission selected in order to actually do this glitch so make sure that bad signal is your selected mission and make your way over to this building now at this point i want you to make sure that you are not on a team so go ahead and either hold up on the d-pad if you're on a console and select leave team if you're on pc it is alt hold alt and then select leave team now at the back of this building right next to the bad signal portal if you walk up to this little window pane right here you're going to see a portal now if you don't already know about this long story short you enter a code and you are given the ability to purchase a portal to a specific location so i'm going to go ahead and enter my personal favorite code first and then i will show you guys next the most popular way if you will so for my code this sends you to a water tower near the edge of the map now i'm going to pull up the actual map of all the locations in a second but long story short you are trying to aim to get to the out of bounds line as fast as possible but there is specific timing with this so you actually spawn at a water tower there and you can kind of fly to the edge of the map that's my personal favorite but let me show you the most easy one so i'm going to put that code up on the screen now and essentially all you do is you teleport over to a beach and you are going to run for the edge of the map it is very very simple and it's again the most popular for a reason because there is no jumping there's no you know acrobatics if you're not a fast player this is going to be the method for you if you have difficulty like you know if you're uh, on console so you're using analog input 
you know, sometimes it can be hard to be super accurate. But on PC, that, you know, I like the water tower way because I'm quick with it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually going to demonstrate the full glitch to you. So here I am at the building, I have my 45,000 essence and all the items that I want. And what I'm gonna go do is I'm gonna go ahead and enter a code now. Now the one I'm gonna go with just for demonstration purposes is mine. Just keep in mind you are doing this exact same thing if you go to that beach location. So I'm gonna go ahead and purchase this portal and what you want to do is immediately run up the stairs and out the window and just pull your parachute like so now the alternative is you can jump right off the railing right in front of where the portal is run through the building and run to this portal and back that's the typical way that I do it but this is the fastest way so what you want to do is initiate the dark ether rift if you have a scorcher you can just fire it and it saves you a ton of time and you just fly over to this door but again just run straight through the building if you want the simple way just jump down you know jump up up the stairs you should get there before around eight seconds left on that left timer there where it says one vote needed you know you just want to make sure that you at least are through the portal before that eight seconds so you can practice this and it only cost you a thousand each time so what you want to do is go ahead and vote yes now again you need to make sure that you are alone so that you don't have to wait on anyone else and you want to just enter the out of bounds line at six seconds now what's going to happen is very simple you're going to wait for this timer to run out but before it gets to zero you're going to start teleporting to bad signal the mission but you're also going to see an eliminated symbol now at this point you essentially just close your game at at this point and that will essentially end your game you can also just go into that game if you don't want to but here's how to close it on xbox as well as ps5 xbox you just want to click the xbox button scroll down to the game click start on it and click quit on this screen of course now on ps5 you can see you actually pull up the game switcher by clicking the ps5 button and then going over to switcher and then i believe you just click options like it says there and it should come up with close game now when you click on it and you see close game you want to again make sure that you are closing the game at the right point it's any time that the loading screen is up like so you can wait until it starts counting down possibly but i would highly suggest that you just close your game as fast as possible once you see that loading screen now, there's a whole different way that you can actually do the tombstone glitch that if you thought that that method was complicated, I just went over with you, this one will be a lot easier. You just need to make sure that you have a blood burner key in order to do this glitch. So if you want to do this glitch, all you need to do is make sure that you have a blood burner and there's a cool feature with this where if you drive over the water and get off and get back on you actually can teleport with the bike now you can practice this i highly suggest that you do it because what you just witnessed right there was the hardest point so what we're going to do is we're going to drive over the water from the top right of the map where i showed you now it's important to remember where i was because i was close to the edge of the map so you can use this with bad signal and you can also use this with countermeasures so countermeasures is another mission and you can also probably use it with union so it's really good for you know dark ether rifts or anything like that that is near a body of water so this is my suggested way for doing the dark ether duplication glitch but we'll go over that specific method that i already have a video on in a minute so what you want to do is just activate the portal run back to your blood burner and get off and get back on now the whole purpose of this is so that it teleports you to the edge of the map and you have all the time in the world you can see there on the left i have all the time that I need so much so that I can walk out and walk back in before even doing this so I go ahead and just accept that vote and then walk out at six seconds this is in my opinion the easiest way to do the tombstone duplication glitch by far you don't have to run you don't have to you know get to the portal at a certain time it's so easy because you have so much extra time so again you see this actual loading screen come up after you get the eliminated symbol that's how you know it worked and you want to go ahead and quit the game on that loading symbol on xbox and on ps5 of course you want to click the ps5 button and then scroll over to game switcher and then click on it and click quick game so whenever you close the game here it is physically closing the game process so the game's already registered that you have died it also has registered that you successfully exfilled and are starting a dark ether lobby for example you're going into the portal so those are the different ways that you can actually do the solo method but now let's get into how you can actually duplicate essence and items at the same time now this does require at least one other player to be with you or to be cooperating with you so what we're going to be doing here is essentially setting multiple tombstones with the same exact items and essence 
So like I said, you're going to need a teammate, but you will not be needing bad signal. All right. For this method, you absolutely do not need any particular mission. All you need to make sure is that you have tombstone and whatever you want to duplicate as well as a teammate. So as you can see, I'm not actually on a team with my teammate. I highly suggest that you both get tombstone and also leave your team, just like I suggested in the other videos before you even begin this glitch. So what I'm doing here now is I'm going to go ahead and down myself, give up and plead for help with all of my team's items in essence. So whatever you want to duplicate, make sure that you throw it all on one player and each one of you is going to do this process. So number one, you need to make sure that you have tombstone equipped. You are not on a team. You're going to go down, give up and plea for help. Now, once you're done playing for help, let your friend know it should come up. If you're not on a team, if you are on a team, you won't actually see that indicator. So make sure that you leave your team again before you start doing this. So each player is going to repeat this process. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give my alt account, the scorcher, all of the items, as well as the essence. He went and purchased tombstone, just like I did a second ago. And he's going to go ahead and down himself with the scorcher. Doesn't matter how you down yourself, just die, not in like a drowning or quit the game way, but go down and plead for help. And as you can see here, this is what you should see if you are not on the same team at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and pick him up knowing that he's pled for help with all of the items in essence. And at this point, what you want to do is you want to individually quit the game. So what I want you to do now is essentially play your game however you want, but how you're going to end your game needs to be very specific. So what we just did was we set a tombstone. You'll notice I don't have the tombstone icon at the bottom of my screen. So just to make sure that you don't actually set a tombstone after this, you need to make sure that you never drink tombstone or plea for help again. So what I'm going to do to ensure that is I'm going to go down and let the plea for help timer run out. And what happens if you don't already know is that you will lose the game you will fully lose i don't know if you can just quit the game but make sure that when you actually physically quit the game after you've died that you click no to pulling team members out that's super important so invite your teammate back and go ahead and search for another game and remember we've already set a tombstone on our character so what's going to happen is each person on your team is going to have the same exact tombstone so for example if my teammate you know took all the crystals as well as all the essence he should have seven 70,000 essence and then I also had 70,000 essence therefore whenever I picked everything up after you know spending some money you can see I've effectively doubled my essence so you can repeat this process over and over again and get to the maximum amount of essence that's around a million I believe it is so what you can do is essentially once you're done with all of that just go ahead and do the tombstone duplication glitch as a solo player with bad signal and that way you can take out all of the items as as well as tombstone the essence whenever you're done duplicating it so it's that easy you duplicate it with your teammates and then you essentially all go out on your solo way so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna look into how to do it with all of the tier 3 portals as well as dark ether so the new dark ether you can unlock the new schematics for obviously and I'm gonna show you guys how you can only spend a elder sigil which you can duplicate by the way and go into the dark ether over and over again and not actually risk all of your items now what a lot of people get frustrated about right is these new dark ethers if you go in with a team and you all die and you didn't have tombstone then you won't save it at all you will lose everything now if you just purchase tombstone and die in the dark ether that's another thing you will have the items that were in your inventory backed up but i'm going to show you how you can use your items as well as have a duplicate waiting for you when you come back so you can continuously try the new dark ether really really easily so as you can see there is a tier three portal way over here now i would argue that this is more for the advanced type players however i'm going to physically show you how to do it if you want to watch the full video where i give a detailed explanation on this one i will have that linked in the description down below but long story short all you need to do is just input the elder sigil into the portal and then go ahead and fly your way over and again i, I think that this is a little bit more advanced for the advanced player so i highly suggest that if you have a player who's really quick with their movements that they do this you can see me demonstrating it here using the portal walking out of bounds at six seconds i highly suggest that you just throw all the important items on one player and have them do this glitch everyone else can just sit within the map right and just wait to be teleported it's that simple the player will still be in the game with you so once you've actually teleported through there instead of closing the game on this loading screen you are essentially just going to let it load and what's going to happen is you're going to be able to do the entire dark ether and when you come back into your next game you will all 
also have a tombstone waiting for you with everything that you left behind including your extra elder sigil if you are doing this correctly after every single dark ether attempt you can essentially go do the bad signal solo duplication glitch get an extra elder sigil right and then repeat this one where it costs you one elder sigil to do so long story short it is very very easy for you to repeat and just keep trying at the dark ether so gone are the days where you run out of items right and you can only do one attempt every day because y'all don't have any time to you know gather up essence and stuff again this is the way that you do it over and over again and grind out the new dark ether so if you appreciate this video make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more thank you so much for watching and i will catch you in the next video Today, I have a game-breaking glitch to show you guys that you can abuse to unlock all camos, max out your battle pass, and much more. It's so good that I regularly get back-to-back -back nukes in multiplayer, along with averaging 100 plus kills per game. All in about 2 minutes of effort, you can disable skill-based matchmaking and dominate every single lobby you join. So with that, make sure you hit that like button to support and subscribe if you haven't already. In the next 2-3 to three minutes, I'm going to teach you start to finish how to turn off skill-based matchmaking and get bot lobbies every single time. So let's jump right into the requirements. Here we are in the main menu on my alt account. I have a main account on my PC and this is my alt account on my Xbox. We'll get into that in a minute, but you can do this glitch with a friend or with a separate account on a separate device. This does not work with split screen on the same device just as an FYI. What we're gonna be doing essentially is hijacking someone's lobby. I'll explain more what I mean by that in a minute, but follow me here. So first step is you wanna take a fresh account or one that does not play multiplayer regularly and search for team deathmatch or small map mosh pit or some similar playlist and what you want to do is play like an absolute bot when you get into game don't sprint play objective or hit your shots hold down the trigger run in circles it doesn't really matter just simply play kind of like how I'm doing here kind of mimic what I'm doing and after about five to ten games you should notice that your lobbies are absolute bots now at this point you have trained the search algorithm to give you low skill lobbies and what this is doing is essentially setting you up so that you can then abuse this matchmaking that this player is getting on your main account. So let's get into how you can actually do that. All right, so here we are in the menu with that same account. With that level eight account that I just showed you, I have low skill lobbies whenever I search for a game, I can already tell. So what we're going to do is get my PC account set up on the side and waiting. So the preferred playlist that I like to use is small map mosh pit. This has been the one that I've been getting back to back nukes on. It's been very, very easy to you know abuse and utilize for this and getting camos and things of that nature. So I'm gonna go ahead and search for a lobby here but what you're essentially going to be doing is joining while this player is searching so as you can see it starts to search and I'm on my PC account here which is going to be labeled player one player two is going to be the Xbox account so as soon as I get into the lobby or as soon as it says connecting rather on the bottom left which I'll show you in a minute then you want to join up and it should say waiting for party it should say that your party's in game but you need to make sure that it has less than 12 players in your alt accounts lobby. So if it has a full game where the game's already started and it immediately starts to count down, you won't actually get in. But it only takes a couple of attempts. It typically takes me around a minute or two just to do this. As soon as you actually connect and there's less than 12 players, typically speaking, you will fill that gap. You will fill that last place in the lobby. And what's gonna happen is you'll join them in their pregame lobby and then the alt account can then leave. Now eventually the alt account will drop off the player list and you have successfully done the glitch at this point. Essentially what has happened for those who don't fully understand is you have hijacked your alt accounts lobby. So just to recap, the alt account searched for a game and as soon as it said connecting, which at that point they had found a lobby, you joined them. And then at that point, once you had successfully joined their pregame lobby before the game had started, then they left the game. Thus, you are in a lower skill lobby. So morality wise, this glitch is a little bit questionable but don't shoot the messenger i just like posting glitches and just to keep it in perspective for you guys this glitch has been around for multiple past call of duties this is not a new glitch this is a glitch that i'm just reporting on from modern warfare 3 if they want to fix this glitch they can and if they don't then it will continue to happen so i personally fully expect this to be in black ops 6 this is something that they are not prioritizing this is something that not a lot of players have the ability to do this is something that is resource intensive right 
right? You need an Xbox and you need a PC or you need two devices in general in your household, such as two PCs. It doesn't matter. The point is, is that this is a glitch that not a lot of players are going to be able to do. But if you can, I'm going to be honest with you guys, this is the funnest glitch I've ever had. I mean, personally speaking, being in a lobby like this on Rust and being able to, you know, drop, I think 186 was the highest that I've gotten on Rust. 186 in, in, in a single game of small map mosh pit. So that's 186 kills in around 15 minutes or less. So, I mean, that is extremely fun. But again, morality wise, it's a little bit questionable, but they can fix this if they want. You can send this over to them. I really don't care. But if you guys appreciate this video, make sure you hit that like button down below to support me. Comment any questions below as well, and I will catch you in the next video. Season 4 is out, and today I have an unlock all glitch for Modern Warfare 3 that will allow you to use any weapon that is locked, even if it's in the battle pass. Which means this glitch includes everybody's favorite, the Car 98K, which as of this recording is in the Season 4 battle pass. But there's no need to purchase it as long as you do this glitch before it gets patched. You can level up guns and upgrade them. You can add attachments to them once you level them up and unlock those attachments. You can pretty much use these weapons as normal, as you can see here. I don't have the shield actually unlocked, but I would using an end game so let's get right into how you actually do this glitch so here we are in the main menu let's jump right into the requirements for this glitch now at the top left you will see a label this is my pc account the reason why i have it labeled is because you will need two players to do this glitch but before you fret it can be done with any other person regardless of if they were remote or in your house on a separate device and it's extremely easy to do so my PC account will be the friend helping you do this glitch and my Xbox account will be the one actually unlocking the restricted weapon. Simple enough. So first of all, have your friend go to the Modern Warfare 3 menu, scroll to private match and then open up the menu and hover over training course. This is super important. The first step to this glitch is we're essentially going to be joining this game as they're joining training course, which training course, if you didn't know, is a one player lobby. So what you're going to do on your Xbox or PlayStation 5 is you're going to click the right stick, open up your menu to view your friends, scroll over the friend that is about to click on training course and hover over join party. So you're essentially going to be joining them as they start it up. So they're going to go ahead and click on training course now, and you're going to join as soon as the logo expands. That's how I get it 100% of the time. You can rewatch this video over and over again if you want to get the timing down. It's very easy to get the timing down. If you are too late though, just know it will say full. It'll say essentially there's too many players because again, this is a one person mode. So what we're going to do now is on the Xbox account, we're going to click start and then we're going to click the battle pass. So once you get to the battle pass, you're going to notice weapons up here is displayed. Don't switch to it. Don't click anything. What I want you to do is click start again and you're going to go over to your player tab. Now, once you get over to your player tab, go down to edit showcase, and then you're going to click on showcase weapon. This is super important. Just follow the steps that I do, and then you're gonna click swap on the weapon. Now you'll notice this one is base lock. Just ignore this, this is a byproduct of the current glitch. But what we're gonna essentially be doing is you're going to now plug in your keyboard, and this is the point where you click F6 twice. Now, when you click F6 twice, it's some type of keyboard shortcut for the console, it's going to switch you over to classes. I presume on PC this does it. I'm a PC player, I don't even know about this. But anyway, so I clicked F6 twice and it pulls up your class. Now you may only have to press it once, but just know, just pull up your class, that's essentially it. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in and go to the weapon that you want to unlock. In this case, it's the Car 98K. Now on my friend's account, on my PC account in this instance, remember we're both in the same party i'm going to click start twice and it's going to go ahead and error out because again this is a one player mode you're glitched in a lobby it's not going to be able to start so you click start twice and you exit the error now on your xbox what you're going to do is just simply click the right trigger or on your ps5 the right trigger and then you're going to back out of that so right trigger and then b or circle on ps5 and you're going to notice all the weapons are selectable do not click anything don't click a don't click anything like that what you want to do is hold X on Xbox or square I presume on PS5 look at the bottom of your screen and make sure it says equip and open gunsmith that is the action that you want to perform if you did this glitch right you should be able to pull it up now keep in mind you're gonna be able to select 
you know attachments and things of that nature because again it's just like you're in a private match however the attachments will not go through just the base weapon now don't fret though because you assigning this onto your class and you can see here i'm going to go ahead and back out so what i want you to do just as a demonstration and i'll explain it in a second just click the b or circle button until you get back to this screen you'll notice that the weapon is not the weapon that you just selected it's not the car 98k in my case so i'm going to go back out all the way and go over to weapons and you'll notice in my actual class i have the car 98 selected but it says base locked right there on the left. So it's important to remember, this is my real class and you can even see it's showing my PC account. This game is completely glitched out. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave the party completely just to demonstrate to you guys that this did in fact work. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my weapons tab here. And as you can see to its glory, the car 98K is unlocked. I don't need to buy the battle pass. I don't need to buy black cell. I don't need to play a single game in order to unlock this or any other gun that shows up. Now, just keep in mind, the only restriction for this glitch is that it works in Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer. It's very annoying, I know, but that is because training course is a multiplayer mode, apparently. So when you go to training course, obviously it is under that menu next to multiplayer, Warzone, etc. But when you back out of the battle pass, menu you are immediately put into multiplayer unfortunately that's just how the game is coded so therefore it only works for this and as you can see you can do this glitch over and over again the only thing that you need to make sure that you do is that you reset each time that you do this you can only set one weapon doing this glitch and then you need to back out and essentially repeat the steps again but as you can see i do this at full speed here it is very very easy to do i'm going to go ahead and hover over whatever weapon i want you don't actually have to hover over it at this point because what you'll notice is when you pull up the filters it actually does uh it resets the ui so you can see here i have the haymaker selected well now i have the sva because it resets your ui because you're filtering them essentially but you're not actually applying anything which is super annoying Anyway, so I'm gonna do it with the Riot Shield as well. I'm gonna go ahead and equip it. It shows the FJX Horus for some reason, but when I go back and check my actual class, what you're going to see is that I do in fact have the Riot Shield. So that's just another quick tip for you guys. Make sure that you note that if you get any visual bugs, just ignore them and just pay attention to what you're selecting. But as you can see, this shield is not unlocked. This is something that I have not even used a single time. I didn't go into zombies and extract with it. You don't need to beg anyone to actually use this weapon. You're able to use the car 98K or any other weapon with ease without doing anything. Just make sure that you do this glitch before it gets patched because just like the unlock all glitch in the past, with attachments the unlock all attachments glitch which is now patched that they did not uh, actually patch the effect they patched the method so what i mean by that is if you do this glitch and save a class with a car 98k and you never unlock it as far as like legitimately goes whenever they go and patch this which they eventually will probably very very soon just as a warning you know you're actually going to keep that class that you already assigned the car 98 to so you can see here it's set as my showcase weapon it's in my class so that custom loadout one that i just set it on is not going to lose it whenever they patch this i guarantee it guys because if they were to do that they would outrage a lot of people think about it how are they supposed to keep track of what's in your classes they can filter out everyone and then like cross reference you know database tables and say okay this person has it but they don't have it unlocked right and you know that's just a lot of work for something that does not make a difference they they're just interested in selling battle passes and making money off of players which is totally fine with me but the point i'm trying to make is is you need to make sure that you do this glitch before it gets patched now i'm going to go ahead and take this into the game just to demonstrate to you guys that it is 100 percent legit i don't want anyone questioning if or not this glitch actually works or not it 100 percent does and it's actually really really cool so it, it's a great way for you to actually try out weapons before you even go and try to unlock them so if you know you're wondering about a warzone meta loadout or something like that for a new gun like the subverter or something that you haven't used before right you don't have to actually question if or not the gun is for you you can actually go and level it up real quick especially times like right now when seasons just dropped season four just dropped so you have double xp all across the board on anything whether that be weapon xp player xp or battle pass so it's a great time for you to do a glitch like this up you know you, you kind of upgrade or, or or rather um you know level up weapons and and get attachments for weapons that you don't typically use and try it out so as you can see this alt account has terrible lobbies uh but you can see i'm actually able to use the riot shield 
What's going on guys, Wesley here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you not only how to get the new schematics for season three reloaded, but also how you can keep your tombstone in the main map when you return, making it so that you only risk your sigil when attempting runs. Now, as a token of love for all the support that I've gotten recently, as well as the fact my birthday is this weekend, I wanted to show some love to you guys by giving away all three schematics to at least 10 subscribers. I may do more, but it does take some time, guys. So make sure that you comment down below your preferred weapon in zombies. I will tag you guys next week in the comments who has one. So make sure you turn on your notifications. Now, if it could take like 10 seconds of your time, I just want to quickly show some gratitude to all my subscribers as well as a couple of people. Without them, my videos would not have came out so fast and into today while recording this video. Drop it like it's hot and his son confused toast. They're the first people who found me in game just happened to come across me in this group of friends and they said that they were already subscribers of me. So that made me feel really, really good. And my birthday is this weekend, so I'm just really happy about that as well as smash and grab, Mama Zombie, Mrs. Squanch. Shout out to all of you for helping me set up my tombstone and really just make making it so easy for me to do these things. So again, guys, I'm going to show you exactly how you can get these schematics out of the game and share them with your friends, as well as just simply how you can save your tombstone while going through the dark ether. So let's get right into this glitch and I'm going to show you guys exactly how you can do it. Now you can do this solo, but I'm going to show you in a minute how damn hard this new dark ether zombies is. Now I can't stress it to you enough you need to go in fully decked out. So what I mean by that is pack a punch level three weapons. I highly suggest that you're gonna be doing this in a group. Let's just, I'm just gonna presume that right now because you'll see the video clips of me in a second going in solo. It is absolutely breathtaking how hard this thing is by yourself. So anyway, so I highly suggest that at least one person has a VR 11 upgraded because you'll see later you can actually heal the escort when you're in that mission, all right? So that's gonna be one of the missions that you need to do in this dark either we'll go over where they are and what you need to do for them but this video is all about the new dark ether and how you can do the tombstone duplication glitch through it with yourself or with your team so what we're going to be using is a portal that is on the other side of tier three it's in the left courtyard so what you may have noticed is in the past on the dark ether that's on the hill right you used to be able to hold the use button and fire your scorcher up in the air so that you could fly pretty quickly over to the portal now most people kind of gave up on this one because it's even further this this one's a little bit closer so it's definitely possible but what i found is instead of doing what you used to do in the past you have to hold it down and then right before you finish really halfway through start charging your scorcher then as soon as you finish look away and fire your scorcher twice and obviously fly through the air pretty quickly if you need to know how to do this just simply watch me fly through the air to do it as quickly as possible so you want to fly really low and find your way over to the portal it is very very quick as you can see i got here with 12 seconds left that is 1000 thousand percent doable it really all depends on when you get to that portal all right so you can do dry runs here you don't have to waste your sigil you can activate it and then not accept the contract so what you can do here is essentially activate it and then fly your way over to the portal now there's two different ways that you can do this i'm going to show you how you can do it where only you keep an extra tombstone again you're just duplicating your items here so if you don't care about this then this video isn't for you but what i'm saying is you essentially will only be spending an l Elder sigil when you go in you will keep every single other thing and you don't have to waste your time so when you go through you can see the portal code on the screen now this is the one that i prefer to use you will fly to the edge of the map accept it and then enter at six seconds so you may have noticed i entered at seven seconds we will go over that in a minute so so to physically actually do the glitch in case you don't know what the tombstone glitch is i'm going to take 15 seconds guys just to explain it to the people who have not done this before or forgot when you get through the portal you're going to run out of the edge of the map at six seconds so you just need your team to accept the contract whenever you go through the portal it'll take a little bit of coordinating but it is very easy you will get the eliminated symbol before you get the dark ether zombies loading symbol just like this screen just showed you should see that now you may notice i have entered at seven seconds we will go over that in a minute because you need to enter at six seconds and you'll see why in a minute but if one person has all of the important spare items right they will both take it into the dark ether and if you survive extract with it as well as have an existing tombstone on the map being placed as soon as you see that eliminated symbol and then dark ether load right here you know that you have set your tombstone successfully so long story short one player should just hold all of the spare items and do this you could also do it with all four people i'm guessing if you threw your extra teammates on the edge 
edge of the map and have them wait and walk out at six seconds you can coordinate that and let me know if that works but i would highly suggest just giving all the rare extra items to one single player so that they can then save your extra items and make sure that when you come back into the game they have four scorchers for everyone you know they have extra dog bones etc etc and also keep in mind if you're doing the unlimited essence glitch when you extract now you save 70 hours of cooldown i'm not kidding if you have max essence on you or you get it from someone and you extract successfully like at the end of dark ether here which i will show you in a second you will literally save 70 hours so let's get into how you get through this and get out all right so here we are in the dark ether and you may have noticed before like i mentioned i entered at seven seconds that will cause you to lose your weapons yes i am not joking this has happened to me in the last dark ether and it happened to me in this dark ether now when you enter at six seconds when you do this glitch it should keep your weapons but if it doesn't just forewarning you guys glitches don't always work as intended sometimes people are like hey i lost my weapons with this and if i don't mention it in the video then they're like oh this is a crappy video or something like that i'm just i'm telling you now it could happen just enter at six seconds if you can if you lose your weapons just make sure that someone has a backup if everyone has a large rucksack right and you have extra items then you should be good but with the new dark ether there is individual areas that you need to go to that have beams of light coming from the ground you can see them over there similar to the mystery box in the past now when you activate these pillars it will activate each individual contract you need to do these contracts in order to unlock the schematics now full disclosure as a solo player this is extremely hard it's it's impossible to go through here and survive in my opinion now personally speaking if I did the you know overpowered weapons glitch which you can find in the description down below it's in my all working glitches video as well as you know brought like say I don't know a ray gun uh, fully upgraded or something like that or maybe something with a mags of holding like an LMG and it's fully upgraded with the legendary tool and pap three crystal yeah maybe i could like you know mow down these zombies and be okay but truth be told i don't really suggest that you go into it solo so you just need to locate all three of those beams of lights one is a uh, elimination contract one is one of those outlast contracts and another one is the escort contract so you're going to use your upgraded vr11 to actually heal the escort which makes it a lot easier so make sure that you use that but the portal is located over here in the middle of the island again this is about really the glitch today so i'm going to make a separate video on the dark ether as a guide but just know this is where the portal is located so once you've completed all those contracts, full disclosure, there's a bit of RNG with these contracts. So you may not unlock the schematics whenever you do them. Each individual time has a chance to drop schematics per player. Now, if you do the tombstone duplication glitch or you have already done it, you'll have your items outside when you come back, making it a lot easier for you to continuously come in and grind. And if you leave an extra one in your tombstone, for example, you will obviously duplicate it and increase the amount of runs that you can do. So I highly suggest that it least one person maybe you have an alt account or you just have a friend who is not currently going into the dark ether with you have them tombstone duplication glitch it a bunch right so that you have six to eight you know elder sigils available so you can keep coming in with your tombstones not risk anything at all right because you have backups of the elder sigils you have all of your items when you come in here and you can come in with your friends and you can grind it out even if you do the easiest contract right say that you say the elimination contract for example is the easiest one one, and you want to just do that one over and over again like this right here so if you think that that's the easiest contract well with this glitch and with the tombstone duplication glitch kind of combined then you don't have to worry about oh well i gotta do that damn escort contract again no you can do a specific one over and over again leave in the game have your tombstone repeat the process Today, I'm gonna to show you multiple glitches that will allow you to do the tombstone duplication glitch solo. And if you lose your tombstone, these glitches will help you restock and set a new tombstone all in one game. Now this video includes a few under the map glitches with insane drops as well as a few new secret missions that have a 100% drop rate on some extremely useful rare items. Best of all, you can do all of this in a single game and I'm going to show you start to finish what to do. Now this video of course will be included in my all working glitches compilation. I'm going to start continuing to do those schematic giveaways as a part of those videos. You can find that video in the description down below but of course this will be included in my future videos. Now we all know how long this new zombie game mode takes. If you're waiting on schematic cooldowns and you lose your tombstone, it can set you back literally days, unless you come across a nice stranger or a friend who's online willing to give you their items. I'm gonna show you start to finish a single game that I played where I had every single one of these glitches done and let you guys rate it for yourself how good these methods are. 
Now, if you're in a bind like the one that I just described, having to wait hours for schematic crafting cooldowns, these glitches just may save your life. So make sure that you write these down. Make sure you, you know them in the back of your head just in case you need them. And hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I'd appreciate your support. But let's get right into these methods. Now, if you have a tombstone already on the map, obviously go and grab your items. You are going to be resetting your tombstone as usual, but let me show you the first place that we're going to do a glitch on where it's going to give you insane loot. Now, you may be aware of this spot, but the second glitch that I'm going to show you guys that is completely different from this and you actually kill the warlord with is right next to it. So what you're going to do is find this lamp post in the cave here, and this is going to be the Easter egg bypass glitch. All you need to do is hold forward and fire a scorcher up and then fire it two more times. It's very easy to actually get into this but you will need a blood burner key now this one is kind of optional if you want to do this you can this one will not actually give you weapons cases but it will give you rare items 7,000 essence minimum as well as different rare items that you can possibly get so this is just a random roll of loot if you will but typically there is a lot of cool stuff in here first of all three plate vest I actually needed that and then you go in here and you can see I have 3,500 more typically you will have some type of wonder weapon in there as well this one is one that we have already known of now I'm going to show you the brand new glitch that I found, but what you're going to have to do is get back into where you just were. So first of all, you can see I'm firing up. I fired three times and we're going to make our way back over to that area. Now this again is completely different from the first glitch. So let me show you how to do it. Now this one I would describe as a little bit more advanced. Now this one is for the players that know how to do the uh, Superman glitch as I like to call it. It's not really a glitch, but it allows you to fly through the air very fast using an upgraded Scorcher. So if you have an upgraded Scorcher, doesn't matter if it's uh, level three, two or one, you can actually do this method. So I'm going to describe this very, very carefully. So what you want to do is essentially jump off and immediately pull your parachute and what you're gonna do is cut your parachute and then fire your scorcher at 50% pretty much long story short just watch what I do here you can see I pull it here and then I start flying towards the edge towards the water look at the top left of the screen pay attention to that and make sure you replay this part of the video this is me doing it successfully you can see I fire off my scorcher before I get to the water and what that's gonna do is you're gonna fly through the water if you don't do this and you don't turn around you will drown that is that is a known fact but if you do this correctly it's very easy to practice and you can keep going back and forth i've heard that if you fall into the depths of the map right if you just fall all the way down into the abyss you'll start to appear on the map again up you know up above ground someone told me that i haven't tested it so if that works for you make sure you comment down below just don't get yourself drowned just swim away from the body of water if you look up here you can see on the right there would be no water and on the left there would be water, right, for that as an example. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over to the right side of the island. You're gonna look for this red boat underwater. Now, be careful here because if you go to the right of it, way, way over to the right like I did, you can actually get stuck. But all you need to do is just spam, cut, parachute, and deploy, and face a couple of different directions, and you'll get out. So here I go. So here's how you actually defeat Rainmaker without going in. You can see I have a group of randoms who actually invited me, and I'm actually going to kill it for them. So you want to just swim up directly towards the boat, and what you're going to notice is right next to it is this large rock. So what this large rock is is some place that you can actually go prone and actually crawl under the map. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up right here and. I'm going to lay down and so what you want to do is you want to crawl forward and just keep crawling forward until you get to a particular area now over here on the left you're going to see the actual tip of this rock this is where you're actually going to get under the map all you need for this one is a scorcher it's very easy to do so what you're going to do is you're actually going to be able to go inside of the building underneath it so you, what you want to do is fire your scorcher twice once you're done firing it twice you're going to be in this little sandy area you're going to be a little bit above where you were before you won't fall off the map at this point simply just crawl forward until you can crouch and what it's going to allow you to do is actually go underneath the building now to actually kill rainmaker you need to kill a bunch of his minions essentially you need to sit here and kill minions but don't worry because you are in a complete god mode glitch it's very very easy to do so all you want to do is just walk around and keep firing your scorcher or your gun or your ether blade it really doesn't matter what you use just make sure that you are killing them and making sure that you reset 
resupply on ammo because right there in the middle of the room you can actually jump up and resupply your ammo so this is completely you know complete god mode unlimited ammo everything like that so as you can see i'm just mowing down the enemy so at a particular point you're going to need to go unlock a door you're going to get like the uh the npc friendlies if you will telling you to go unlock a door that door is located right here right near the beginning and so all you need to do is unlock it and you can open the door but as soon as you unlock it the boss will spawn and he'll come up from upstairs to the downstairs area and you just need to simply just kill him i mean it's it's very easy he's gonna try to aim at you multiple times but he can't because you are physically under the ground but w w however their ai is set up it can actually like detect that you're there so long story short you just want to kill him i thought he was going to spawn like a, the rift on his dead body so i wanted to make sure he was on the first floor it doesn't matter where you kill him the rift will spawn here now this one will actually give you weapons cases which is extremely useful as well as a couple of other rare items so for example i happen to get a three plate vest and a purple weapon now it's completely random what you could get maybe you could get another wonder weapon that's already you know outside of its case or something like that i have no idea but to get out just follow the path that i do come to this corner right here and fire your scorcher while you hold forward right so walk forward and fire your scorcher just like you got into the easter egg bypass with and what you're going to do is just simply fire yourself out of the ground now i saw another video where someone uh you know went down and they said you know you need to have self revives that's not the case you can get out right at that location all right now that those two glitches are outlined i'm going to show you guys the three secret missions that you can do in order to get pack a punch level three crystals as well as legendary ether tools 100 of the time and you can get up to six per person i'm not kidding it is insane how op this is and you don't need anything except for an upgraded weapon obviously to survive in tier three or even possibly just have three people with ether blades if you have those on your person and you have no upgraded weapons you can do that as well so you're going to look for these triangles and you're going to shoot these symbols on the wall now I already showed you where I actually went so if you need to go back and check like how I got here feel free but once you shoot those symbols you'll start to notice there's purple lines in the buildings all it is is it's a triangle that you essentially need to coordinate so you just come into this position and it'll trigger this because you kind of made the shape of the triangle it's it's an Easter egg essentially so what you're gonna do is you just need to kill zombies within the circle now with a scorcher it's extremely easy to do now this one is typically the easiest one that I've done but I think they turned it up a little bit because before it was dead easy and now it's like a little bit difficult as a single player not really hard at all just a little bit difficult so what you're gonna get is you're gonna get 2,000 essence a legendary ether tool as well as a pack-a-punch level 3 crystal so I had no idea that this existed before but once someone told me I was like oh man like I've been in so many different situations guys where I needed a pack-a-punch level 3 crystal or I needed a legendary ether tool and it's always specific moments but the second mission the second secret mission is right behind where you just were literally just jump off the edge behind you and shoot these three symbols and then you want to make your way over to this area right here so this is right behind where you were just seeing me just follow the lines honestly and what you're gonna do is back up into this little room and that will shape the triangle thus triggering the mission now I found the best place to stand for this one is over on the right here if you fire a fully charged up scorcher shot and just stay over to the right no zombies can spawn outside of your vision and you can easily just kill all the zombies so there you go that is the second mission and again 2000 essence legendary ether tool pack a punch level 3 crystal absolutely awesome loot something that i would highly suggest that you do every single game just simply to back it up share with your friends and make sure everyone has a loaded tombstone because this in my opinion this as well as the scorcher is the most important so as you can see this is the third and final mission and you just simply want to shoot those symbols where i did and i suggest backing up to the edge here and all you need to do is just shoot zombies obviously as they get in but the only thing that you need to make sure for this one is watch out for manglers manglers can both shoot you off as well as they can actually jump up right behind you here which you will actually see in a second I actually get knocked off right before i finish so you can see right here I, i'm like okay what's going on i see him i think i'm killing him right there but he actually jumps up right behind me and smacks me right off as you can see here luckily i had a random teammate who came in and got the last kill for me thus completing this mission but generally speaking it's very very easy as well this was my personal favorite one other than that one that's on the catwalk so anyway so once you're done with this you just want to go up to the portal and make sure that you grab your loot 
Now, after you're done with all of this, right, you should have a setup tombstone. You should be good to go. You got a random wonder weapon case. If you have multiple team members, remember the uh, Rainmaker mission, that one has a 100% drop rate for a weapons case. So if you do it with a full team, then you can easily, easily get the wonder weapon that you want. So the symbol that I'm going to use for the actual tombstone glitch is shown on screen. This is my personal favorite spot, but I'm also going to point out these other two spots as well for you. All you want to do is just use your scorcher to fly over to bad signal activate it and go back or if you don't have a scorcher just simply run there and back you have enough time run out and for this particular location you're going to pull your parachute get to the edge of the map and then realize that you did not leave the team the random team that you are on so of course you need to leave your team before you actually do this and i forgot that so i completely wasted my time luckily again you can see the superman method as as i like to call it is very very quick to get across the map i mean you're talking about 30 seconds seconds of wasted time so it was a little bit of an annoyance but generally speaking it's very easy to make your way across the map if you have an upgraded scorcher so in my opinion guys this is the most important weapon in the game that's my personal favorite but if you have a different one make sure you leave a comment down below i'm interested to hear i also asked that in my other video but you know i'm generally interested what people actually use in zombies so anyway so same symbol here we're going to go ahead and activate the portal and we're going to fly our way back and what you're going to do is you're going to cross through the portal and you're going to exit to the out of bounds line at six seconds what you're trying to do is die at the same time that you're teleporting so as you can see i get to the edge i vote yes as i'm right on the edge of the map i would suggest your little green circle at the top left mini map make sure that it's like almost touching the edge of the map that's how you know you're close enough exit at six seconds it shows eliminated and then you want to close on dark ether zombies and that's it guys so if you appreciate this video make sure you hit that like button subscribe make sure you leave any comments down below i appreciate your support and i will catch you in the next video Today's glitch might be a top 3 glitch of all time for Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. Now with today's glitch you can bypass days worth of missions, maybe even weeks depending on how much you play, to unlock the Bone Collector skin in a matter of minutes, yes you heard that right. Give me 5 minutes of your time I'll show you exactly how to do it. This glitch of course will be included in my Season 3 Reloaded All Working Glitches compilation coming out May 1st as soon as the patch drops, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a beat and let's get right into this awesome glitch. So jumping right in, Act 3 has been toted as the longest time-wise. So of course, I'm going to show you guys how to skip every single mission in Act 3. That's just what I do. But first of all, you need Act 3 unlocked to skip through it. And unfortunately, that means that you have to complete Act 1 and 2. However, and this is a big however, I will show you how you can bypass the longest mission, saving you hours worth of time. Now throughout Act 2, you're going to see missions like Guardian Angel, where you have to use a special ability multiple times in it either a single game or just total and what you're going to notice is this mission for example you need to use healing aura 20 times but what you may not know and what you likely don't know is every single time that you go down give up and then get revived you get your special ability back so by bringing in a teammate you can both finish that as well as frostbite where you have to freeze mimics using the freeze ability you just need to go down multiple times and just continuously use that now once you're through act two which is in my opinion way worse than act one act one is like a tutorial mission you need to do the very last mission of act two which is shepherd so shepherd is very very easy to do but there are multiple things that you absolutely are required to have otherwise you will fail so here i am at the end of act two shepherd the very last mission i have an upgraded ray gun and an upgraded regular weapon and at the end you have to fight an abomination now for less skilled players you don't actually need to go through all the trouble and get down like i do and waste all of your time and effort all you need to do is bring in a dog and as you can see it completely changes the landscape of things i was very very easily able to beat this mission it's super super quick to do and once you are through it you actually have act three enabled so you will see it at the top right there i actually finished the mission so once you've done that what you're going to notice is you can actually select the last mission in act three but hold on before you click off it does not work and i'm going to show you in a second a prime example because what i like to do on my channel is physically show you guys the alternatives right so for example in act three yes you can select this mission but you cannot do it and i'm going to show you exactly what happens real quick in the next 20 seconds in order to understand exactly what you need to do to skip all the missions because this is part of it you need to have that mission selected so as you can 
can see I go into a game with that mission selected you can see it there on the left and it does not show up it should show up as a star expo like we're used to right with all of these in missions whether it is saving dr. Jansen or whatever so what I want you to do is go ahead and bring in a dog bone upgraded weapons and such into the game but also bring a friend who has the skin already unlocked this can be anyone at all that you find as long as someone is willing to help you also make sure that you are both the party leader and you have the mission selected to defeat Zakayov or whatever the hell his name is all you need to do is make sure that you have that mission selected and you are the host now once you are the host of the game and you've gone in your friend is the only person who can actually see the exfil so they need to call it in but you need to make sure a couple of things as you'll see here if you didn't know if you go down in midair and fall to your death you are eliminated you are out of the game but you may have noticed he called in the helicopter already but unfortunately if your friend does not come with you it does not count so that's another caveat that you need to watch out for so here I am doing the regular exfil and will actually end up into the game so this is it. this is the only mission that you have to do and I'm gonna show you real quick extremely easy how you do it because it is impossible to lose this game it is so easy especially if you bring a dog in it gives you free revives gives you like four to six revives I don't even know how many times a dog can but if you bring in your healing aura you can heal your dog so that's just another tip so going through this mission it's very simple all you do is deploy whatever this device is and then you want to run over to this area that it tells you and if you have an upgraded ray gun which I highly suggest you bring it to all story missions it is absolutely OP you can essentially do all the objectives by yourself it is super easy your friend doesn't need to help you but again he does need to go into the mission I'm guessing he could leave at this point if he wanted to but why would he not finish it out with you anyway so you do that one objective and the worm literally spawns it's that simple so what you're gonna want to do is come over to the area that I'm in you're gonna see it on the map here up on the left this little shack has the ammo crate on the outside and if you had for example a mags of holding you could literally sit there and just shoot at the worm and then reload every two minutes or resupply rather so once you've actually defeated the worm this is the end of the mission now I'm gonna go ahead in a minute and you're gonna see here I actually completed it you get the check and you actually can go in and the operator is going to be under Ripper so once you've done this you have effectively skipped over the entire act 3 which I will show you proof in a second just so that you understand I also am just gonna include the full gameplay of that worm fight just so that you guys can fully understand if you're not as skilled of a player I want you to be able to have the film right I want to be as helpful as possible so I appreciate you watching as you can see here I skipped over every single mission this is days worth of time guys so if you can like comment on the video make sure that you're subscribed those are the ways that you can support me here is the full video of the actual fight with the worm not you know unedited and everything in its glory it's very boring for a reason but you can get a good understanding of what you need to maintain if you're not as skilled of a player or if you simply just want to have a relaxed experience right you don't want to sit there and be like okay manage this and do this and do this I just want to watch this video and be like okay yeah that's what I do okay cool let me just do one two three it's almost like a runescape tutorial back season three reloaded is here and this is how you do the unlimited essence glitch after patch today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how you can get unlimited essence from scratch and it takes you no time at all make sure you follow my steps carefully to get this done as fast as possible now this updated video will be including in my next glitch compilation so make sure that you're subscribed and turn on notifications to keep up with all the latest and greatest glitches. Now previously there was an extremely OP aftermarket attachment called the Jack Purifier. I, man, I missed this thing already. This thing was a killer and killed Mega Abominations in seconds. Unfortunately, like all OP items, they nerfed it as a part of the release of Season 3. Luckily for you, no matter what the best method is, I will look into it for you guys. So let's get right into the fastest way possible to get Unlimited Essence. So if you're not already doing the tombstone duplication glitch, you need to be doing that each and every single game. But the glitch that we're going to be doing today requires multiple players. In fact, it's actually better. The more players that you have on your team, the more it actually multiplies your winning. So if you have three players on your team, it's going to go three times as fast. So without further ado, let's get into the steps of this glitch. I'm going to make this video very, very quick so that you guys can get the updated information and be on your way. So first of all, if your teammates have a tombstone on the map, make sure that everyone destroys it. Now, like I mentioned before, we had the Jack Purifier, but we no longer have it. So we're going to need to find an alternative method in order to actually gain the essence. And that's where this new method comes into play. Now, I don't want to waste any of your time, so what I'm going to do is explain exactly what's changed, first of all, at the start of this video. So, in my previous video, if you are a subscriber, you'll remember this one. I was canceling contracts in Tier 3 in order to generate a bounty contract. If you didn't know, a certain amount of 
contracts usually show up in each zone. So if you cancel a bunch of them, it will generate them and randomly select one or the other. And usually it was a bounty contract that would show up. I got really lucky with mine at least. But the problem was is in tier three, I tried to do the delivery contracts instead of bounties since there's no flamethrower, it's gonna be a little bit harder. I found that they don't generate as much as the bounty contracts. It was the weirdest thing in the world. It took me about 20 cancels just to get a single delivery contract after I did my first one. So you may be asking yourself, okay, so what is the best method? I'm gonna give it to you right now. It is tier two bounty contracts. Now I'm not lying. Let me explain in the next 30 seconds to a minute because I know some people will have differing opinions, but I have justifications for my opinion. All right, so first of all, you're going to need an upgraded Scorcher. Now the reason for this is obvious. You can fast travel. You can see here I am flying around the map. You can get from one edge to the map to the other within 45 seconds. I've already demonstrated that in previous videos. Now here's the straightforward explanation of why. So tier two bounty contracts are relatively easy with upgraded pack-a-punch guns, right? However, you only need a Scorcher for this because an upgraded Scorcher kills the bounties extremely quickly. So literally you don't have to bring your friends along at all. You can fast travel and you can kill the bounties super quickly. So let's watch how fast I actually kill this. And now my aim is terrible here, just forewarning you. I, I, I don't know how I missed that bad. However, you can see here within seconds I've killed the bounty. Now this is the slowest one that I had, all right? Full disclosure, this is the slowest bounty that I had. However, fast traveling to it saved me a ton of time and it only took a couple of seconds. And as you can see here, I actually ended up having a bounty contract all the way in the north across the map. But that's not a problem at all because again, just like I said, you can get from one edge of the map to the other in about 45 seconds. It's extremely easy to actually fast travel if you do it correctly. So make sure you check out that video if you want. It's somewhere on my channel. So. What you wanna do is just run around and keep killing these bounties. And for each player on your team, it's gonna multiply your winning. So for example, if you have three players on your team, you are going to be getting 6,000 essence. Now you may be thinking to yourself, well, with a tier three contract, I'm getting 15,000 each. And here's the thing, guys. You only need about 30,000 to actually start doing the glitch. Keep in mind, we haven't even started the glitch yet. All you're doing is gaining essence in your first game. So once you get around 30,000, we can actually get into the glitch itself. So let's get into those steps real quick and close this video out. Now at this point in the video, you need to consolidate all of the items in essence onto a single player. Now, if you have too many items to hold on one player, that is fine. But what you wanna do is for each player that does this part of the video, which is the actual glitch, you are going to need them to be holding everything that is valuable to you. So what you wanna do is make sure that they have tombstone and that they have all the items in essence on their player. So let's say that it is 30,000 total between you and all of your teammates. They want to go down with tombstone and then give up and plead for help. And what's going to happen is it's actually going to take away your tombstone. It's a little bit weird, but what is happening is you're actually placing a tombstone onto the ground. So you are still in the game and you still have the ability to be picked up. But here's the simple process here that you need to repeat. You need to equip tombstone plus all the essence, go down, plead for help, get revived, and then the other players will essentially repeat those steps. Now, the last and final step to die and leave the game, I will show you in a second exactly the order of operations because you need to be careful here. You can mess this up. If, For example, if you buy tombstone or drink it after this point, once you've gone down and pled for help, your tombstone is gone. You do not have it on the ground anymore and you have messed up the glitch. So this is what I'm talking about. If you just simply get down this process and never mess it up, then you will be good. So each one of your players on your team will repeat this process. And what that's gonna do is it's going to set a tombstone with the amount of money that you consolidated onto that player for each individual teammate. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna turn 30,000 essence into 90,000. Now you may be thinking to yourself if this is the first time that you've seen this, there's absolutely no way that that's true. That makes no sense. This isn't even a glitch. This is a, a, a feature or something like that. If you're gonna sit here and tell me that duplicating 30,000 essence into 90,000 essence is a feature, then I'm just gonna call you crazy because that's what you are. But some people get confused on this and so that is the glitch part is all I'm saying. And I will visually demonstrate it for you in a second so that you don't even have to play the game in order to see the proof. So as you can see, I'm going to go down at the end of the game and I'm going to give up. And what I'm gonna do is not plead for help. So this is what I'm talking about, die and leave the game. That was step six. You want to wait until you actually 
actually get eliminated. Now, alternatively, you can run into the out of bounds zone or you know anywhere anywhere else that you can die or any other way that you can die. You're going to die, and what's going to happen is you're going to lose everything that's on you. So I wouldn't suggest bringing your insured weapon because again, you're going to lose whatever you have on you, including your large backpack. But that's okay because again, you are duplicating your essence and items. So as you can see here, I come back into the game and I can pick up that essence. Now, each time that you come back into the game, I highly suggest that you just save your tombstone soda, the physical one, and purchase it from the machine. It's just easier, and you obviously have the essence for it. So each time that you come in, you're going to repeat this process with your friends. So for example, if we started out with 30,000 essence between me and my teammates, I place it on one player, then we all go down one at a time. You have now multiplied it into 90,000 essence. The next game, you will do 90,000, 180,000, 270,000. It's very simple guys so whatever your current amount of essence is however many players that you have on your team it is multiplied by right so if you have two players just two players you can still do this quickly just go ahead and get 30,000 essence right and then through one game you're going to get 60,000 then you're going to get 120,000 then you're going to get 240,000 etc etc so as many times as you want to do this you can now most people like to get up to max essence just because it's fun to look at and it's just a ridiculous amount of essence I I honestly suggest that you just get a couple hundred thousand don't waste your time and then when the game glitches out and you lose your tombstone you're just you know sol i would highly suggest that you do this with at least two to three players honestly i would say three players obviously two is required but each time that you repeat this you are repeating the amount of essence that you're duplicating by the end of it you're going to have all of this essence on the ground and as you can see this is how i get 900,999 essence i have an alt account though that i always store on this side so that i can make sure that i always have this essence available to me in case mine glitches but if you don't then make sure that you have a friend who can help you out anytime but if you guys appreciate this video make sure you hit Hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. I appreciate the 17,000 subs that I've gotten so far. I love you guys. Thank you guys for supporting me. A new method was discovered for insta-killing the toughest bosses in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. And today, I'm going to walk you through step-by-step -step on how to do it in just a few minutes. Now, this video, of course, will be included in my All Working Glitches compilation. So make sure that you're subscribed with notifications on so you can catch every glitch before they get patched. The steps to this glitch are simple, but the order in which you do them is super important, so make sure you follow my instructions carefully. I also have two tips to avoid breaking this glitch, which can happen and will force you to actually quit your entire game before you retry. Also coming up is an updated Unlimited Essence glitch video where you actually duplicate items and essence, so stay tuned for that. And with all of that said, guys, enjoy. This is the insta-kill weapons glitch in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. Now with this glitch, you're going to be able to complete tier 3 bounty contracts with ease, which can be combined with the tombstone duplication glitch in order to unlock and share all schematics with you and your friends. You can do this with any amount of contracts, but just know that tier 3 bounty contracts are extremely easy. So make sure that you're taking advantage of the tombstone duplication glitch along with this. Like most glitches, this is absolutely benefits from the tombstone duplication glitch, which you will learn why later. But with all that being said, let's get straight into the requirements of this glitch because they are super important. Now, once I go over these requirements for this glitch, you're gonna understand it in full, but make sure that you follow the steps carefully, like I said, because what's gonna happen is if you do these in the wrong order, you are going to break the glitch for the entire game. Yes, you're going to have to quit your current lobby and go back in. So first of all, you're gonna need two weapons. You're also going to need a wonder weapon case. Yes, the actual case itself. You're also gonna need Molly Molotovs, self revive, as well as a juggernaut streak. And then lastly, you're also going to need a pack a punch three crystal and a legendary tool, or alternatively, the money to pack a punch to level three, as well as a legendary tool. Now, why all the requirements? Well, it's pretty simple because if you want the most powerful weapon that actually kills bosses instantaneously, you're going to need it fully upgraded. That is obviously a given. So once you've gotten all the requirements, what I want you to do is go and get a raid weapon stash contract. Now you can do this in tier one. It does not matter where you actually do this, but what you're going to do is you're going to go and start the contract and then go into your settings. If you are on console and you are going to go under gameplay up here at the top, right? There we are. And then you're going to scroll down under combat behaviors. Now under this, you're going to see interact and reload behavior. Change that to tap to interact. Now on PC, you don't have to change this because as you may have 
have known. If you are on PC, if you're a PC player, you tap to interact already. So another tip for you guys, make sure that you don't have your wonder weapon in slot two if you already have one equipped. So again, you need two weapons, but if you have a wonder weapon as one of those two weapons, make sure it's not in slot two. So drop them and switch them and all that. So what you're gonna do is throw down a Molotov and then use the safe right before you die. Now we're gonna watch this in slow motion because I'm gonna, you know, obviously explain to you guys exactly what just happened here, but you're gonna get yourself essentially an empty weapon slot. Now this doesn't actually count as far as your menu goes, but it does count count from a general perspective you can fill it with a weapon so you're gonna see here right when we go from 40 to 15 you're going to use this safe it's that simple throw down a Molotov and use the safe as soon as you go from 40 to 15 you can see it at the bottom left of your screen that's where you will see that number I just blew it up for you guys to make it simple now when you get back up you're gonna notice again when you cycle through your weapons you're actually going to have an extra slot now at this point you've essentially activated mule kick if you ever played old zombies or past zombies rather you will notice that is a uh, existing perk in the past it's not currently in this game so it is a glitch however for all intents and purposes you have just activated mule kick so once you're done with that, make sure that you have, again, all of the requirements. Make sure you have Juggernaut available, make sure you have an Ether tool, as well as a Pack-a-Punch crystal, and you're going to go ahead and fill in this empty slot with your weapons case. This is why you need the weapons case. You don't need a regular weapon, right? Because those by default don't have any rarity. But a Wonder Weapon is supposed to have a gold rarity, but it doesn't whenever you actually activate the case. So what you're going to do is, on your second gun, your secondary gun, you're going to put the Ether tool on that. And the reason for that is, if if you have a weapons case in your secondary slot it's already gold you can't apply a tool to it currently right so that makes perfect sense and you don't want to apply it to the wonder weapon just yet because it will actually break the glitch so here we are we're going to go ahead and throw in a juggernaut as the next step and when you throw in the juggernaut you're going to want to activate it using your wonder weapon again your wonder weapon that has no rarity so once you've done this you're going to get into this juggernaut and you essentially just want to wait for it to end so i'm going to go ahead and speed up this footage for you guys to make it simple and once you are done you're gonna notice at the bottom right your wonder weapon has the rarity attached it's so weird and it's now replaced your secondary weapon so keep in mind you will lose your secondary weapon in here there's also a couple of tips where you can actually lose this gun completely which I will show you in a second it's actually very simple but what you want to do is go ahead and get it upgraded now I went to tier 3 and then realized I didn't even have the actual juice to upgrade it but what i'm going to do here is apply my pack a bunch three crystal like i said you can have one or the other and at this point you have the upgraded weapon but let me give you guys a couple of tips before you go in order to not break this glitch because you can break this glitch extremely easily so you need to do this in a certain regard so what happens here in this clip is i go down and what you're going to notice is I'm going to go down, everything seems normal, you saw the weapon in my hand, but as soon as I get picked up, the weapon's gone. So first of all, you can't get downed, so that sucks. However, again, if you're a, a, a decent player, if, if you have the gold armor plates as well as a triple armor pack, you should be completely fine there. Now where the tombstone duplication glitch obviously comes into play is every single time that you start the game, you can get an upgraded scorcher along with the tombstone perks that you can repeat this over and over again and save the essence that you actually store up. Now again, my unlimited essence video will be out soon, so be watching for that. However, whenever you go around the map with your upgraded scorcher, you're obviously going to fly around extremely quickly and be able to actually reach your bounties very, very quickly. Now, as you're doing these contracts, it's super important to remember, you need to be careful in the tier three zone, obviously. So I would highly suggest as far as a full setup goes, that you have your triple armor plates, gold armor plate, which again, you can get every single game using the tombstone duplication glitch, and ether blade if you want to use that once you're done with this glitch you know, obviously upgrading your weapon, and then as well as a dog. Now the dog is super important because you don't need self-revives whenever you actually do this glitch. If you don't have a self-revive, you need a dog. So to do the gl original glitch, you need to make sure that obviously you have either a self-revive or a dog. So when you're going around the map, just make sure that you hold on to both of these. So I'm gonna pause this real quick and just show you every single time that you do this glitch, make sure that you again, 
have that wonder weapon in your second slot as well as your self revive available or again i have a dog just as a backup i can't tell you how many times i tried to record this glitch and i wasn't paying attention for two seconds and i got downed and i had to completely restart my game and use all of my schematic crafting so it's super important to remember these things guys because what's important with this glitch is that you're obviously trying to gain essence with this or go with your friends to say the red worm or something like that where damage is extremely important but if you guys appreciate this video make sure you hit that like button and subscribe i'd really appreciate your support thank you so much for 17,000 subscribers thank you for being a subscriber and watching make sure you comment down below bananas if you've watched up to this point i just want to see if anyone has and with all that said have a good one after many months, there was finally an update for the acquisition stash glitch bypass. So today, I'm going to go through what this means for your current glitched items if you have any, as well as what you need to do in order to never run out of items in Season 4 of Modern Warfare 3 Zombies and beyond. So be sure to like and subscribe to support. Let's get right into this. So starting off, let's look right at the patch notes. For the June 4th patch, they added this one line right at the bottom that says addressed and exploit bypassing the stash size limits involving elder sigils now if you're not aware of what this means essentially once you hit the 20 out of 20 limit there was actually a way that you could go above 20 out of 20 and that was involving elder sigils you would essentially throw one in one of your final slots of your rucksack and then you would change operators here at the bottom left and you would change to an operator that has a smaller rucksack now what this would do is essentially it would force those items in those slots that now do not exist right because they have a smaller bag and it would force them into your acquisition stash however now you'll see there is a brand new screen that will come up and force you to manage those items now i've seen this screen before so it's not exactly brand new but all i'm saying is that this flow is new it is every single time that this comes up it forces you to stop and either delete those items or swap them with existing items in your acquisition stash, but you can't add new ones. You can't essentially bypass the limit on this. So let's go through exactly what I think that you should do right now and what I've done with my stash. So you can see here, I'm 20 out of 20, and I've mentioned it on many, many videos. I used to have about like 80 out of 20 items. Now this is from the original acquisition stash glitch. So, but this, this advice will work for anyone regardless of if you currently have above 20. I suggest clearing the entire stash and then doing the solo tombstone duplication glitch which i will link down below and essentially having a backup of your most important items and you can get about like two or three sets of these items for example i like the scorcher dog bone uh you know pack a punch level three crystal elder sigils for going to the dark ether everything like that i like having those things on standby so i have about two sets of each backed up including the ones that are already in my rucksack and the tombstone items that are already in game when I start a game, right? Because I'm doing the tombstone duplication glitch every time that I play. All of those things combined, you'll have at least three to five backups of the same items that you need in order to do whatever you want to do, whether that be the red worm or the dark ether. So that's why I personally suggest that you just clear your glitch stash if you have one and fill 20 out of 20 items with important stuff and always do the tombstone glitch. But if you have any questions, leave them down below. Smash that like button to support me and subscribe for more and I'll catch you in the next video. So like I was saying, the requirements for this glitch are very simple. You will need two weapons, a wonder weapon case, and a Molotov cocktail. You're also going to need either a self-revive or a dog. All of these items take zero effort to have every single game if you are doing the tombstone duplication glitch. So make sure that you are doing that. Again, you can do that solo or as a team. I have that linked up at the top right in the description down below. Let's get right into the actual steps to this glitch. So when you come into the game, if you're doing the tombstone duplication glitch, which 99% of us are, the first thing that I suggest is obviously just go grab into your tombstone real quick, and then I'm going to show you exactly where you need to go. So here I am grabbing all of my items out of my tombstone. I need to make sure that I have a wonder weapon case left over. And what you're going to do is go look for a raid weapon stash contract. So what's going on here is similar to the overpowered weapons glitch, which I will also have linked in the description down below, which allows you to insta kill mega abominations among other things. But we're not going to do all of those steps. This is 
is going to be a little bit different. So as you can see here, I have a self revive on me. I have two weapons. My first weapon happens to be a wonder weapon. You need your insured weapon or whatever weapon that you want to duplicate rather in your secondary slot. So what you're going to do is walk up to the safe, throw down a Molotov, and then wait until your health gets around 30 to 40. And as soon as it does, you want to interact with the safe. Now, if you time this correctly, which I can run this in slow-mo in a second for you guys, then you will end up with an empty slot like so. So here it is in slow motion. It's very, very simple guys, but I'm gonna show you exactly when you need to interact with the safe. So you're gonna watch my health go down there on the right and you're gonna see it hit around 30. That is whenever you want to interact with the safe. And you'll notice I drop my hands a little bit. If you see the drill show up on the safe, then you did it wrong, just know that. So anyway, you'll end up with that empty slot and what you wanna do is apply the wonder weapon case to that empty slot. Now effectively, you now have mule kick. You can see I have three weapons total. That is obviously not intended. The third weapon and the Wonder Waff doesn't even show up in my UI. So once you've actually done this, I wanna show you a couple of things that like are no-nos, all right? So if you go down and plead for help and stuff, you actually will mess up this glitch. So I actually went down whenever I had that empty weapon slot and I lost it. So yeah, as you can see, I repeated the glitch a couple of times and it didn't work anymore. The other thing I wanna tell you guys not to do is don't mess with your weapons. Keep your weapons exactly the way that they are. You can upgrade them, you can apply tools to them. It really does not matter, but just don't drop them, all right? And don't don't lose them, okay? Because if you try to drop that Wonder Waff, for example, it will disappear. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do the tombstone duplication glitch. If you want to watch the whole video again, I will have that linked in the description down below, but we're going to see exactly what happens to this weapon whenever I extract and how you can actually turn it into contraband. One thing to keep in mind is that you don't actually have to do the tombstone duplication glitch in order to turn this into contraband. So if you like to extract as normal for whatever reason, just know that you don't actually have to do the tombstone glitch to extract this as contraband. When you extract in general, you can see here my insured slot 2 has now turned into an extra gun. Now there's also a separate method in which you can actually extract and not use a weapons case but you don't include your attachments. Now I'm not gonna include that in this video because I don't really feel like it's necessary. You having a bare bones weapon is not that interesting, but you being able to customize weapons and fill up your stash, your contraband stash, if you will, then you can take a multitude of weapons, whether that be melee, launchers, whatever, and have a huge amount of backup so that if you wanna go and do boss fights and stuff, you no longer need to fear losing your weapons and stuff. So if you guys appreciate this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more. I really appreciate your support and I will catch you in the next video. Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can save days or even weeks of time unlocking all the new camos and guns, including multiple glitches and methods that I have optimized to help you unlock anything from the new one trick camo to even Borealis in no time. Now, to make sure I help out my viewers as much as possible, I'm gonna show you glitches and methods for every single game mode and a few tips that you aren't aware of that can double or even triple your XP rates. So without delay, let's get right into these methods. And before we start the first one, make sure that you have double XP tokens available or better yet, do this on a double XP weekend for free. That will allow you to save your double XP tokens for after those double XP weekends. You can max your guns in no time in a weekend. Trust me guys, if you grind this out with these methods I'm about to show you, it will make your life so much easier. So let's get right into it. First of all, we are in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. and I'm gonna show you two major glitches that people use in order to get Borealis and other camos that are needed for zombies. Now, this applies to weapons in general, right? Remember, all of your weapon levels are not specific to a game mode. So what you can do in Zombies that makes it really in my opinion the best way to level up your guns as far as effort versus reward goes is that you can use these pack-a-punch level 3 crystals as well as legendary ether tools in order to actually max out the experience so you can see here this is one of the methods i'm going to be showing you guys it's called exfil boosting and it allows you to double triple or quadruple the amount of zombies in which that you have at an exfil now, full disclosure, this method in tier two is a little bit hectic. So if you consider yourself an amateur player as far as movement or aim goes, I highly suggest that you do this in tier one. It won't have that much effect on it, except for there's going to be less special zombies. I've noticed there's just more in tier two. Maybe that's just my games. But if you already have a tombstone on the map from the tombstone duplication glitch, make sure you go and grab all of your items there before you start this, just in case you go down or you lose something. If you're not already doing that glitch, make sure you check it out 
out in the description down below. I'll have my all working glitches video linked there. So what you want to do is go ahead and find your way to a normal exfil. Now the difference is it doesn't have a star on it. That's it. It's very simple. It's the original exfils that we used at the start of the game before you started unlocking all these special new ways to get out of the map and do the tombstone glitch. So what you want to do is come over here and essentially start killing zombies like normal. You're going to leave a couple of zombies behind in the end, but what you are essentially waiting for is for the helicopter to get in and to leave. Also, just as a footnote, you can activate double XP tokens by pressing start mid game, thus saving you time when you go to reactivate them at the start of a game. So you can get ready and then, you know, apply your double XP. But what you want to wait for is essentially the helicopter to start flying away. I usually go off of noise. So once the helicopter stops making noise and you don't hear, you know, the, uh, the propellers spinning, then you should be good to go. And what you want to do is as soon as it's gone, go about 300 meters away from the X fill. And then all you want to do just to simplify the process guys wait until it turns blue that is the easy method but if once you get used to this you'll notice you only really have to stay about 200 to 300 meters away for about 10 seconds now when you come back and activate the exfil again what you're going to notice is that the amount of zombies has doubled tripled or quadrupled now it kind of depends on how many you leave it's kind of like an algorithmic thing there's really no way to tell what the best possible way to do it is but as you'll see in a second it gets absolutely hectic and this is just super fun and it's just a really uh, easy and fun way for you to level up your guns now the sheer amount of zombies that show up at these exfils is super important here because each zombie that you kill can actually contribute to the amount of xp bonuses that you get at the end of the game as well as the essence that you extract with so if you do the tombstone duplication glitch you can kind of cycle through weapons very very quickly set up new classes and come right back in and get to the exfils extremely quickly to actually repeat this process so this is my personal favorite method but let's get into the second method for modern warfare 3 zombies now the second method is really really nice but it's more for the laid back player in my opinion you can actually abuse this glitch that is almost afk very close if you could figure out how to automatically shoot your gun and grab ammo that is you could do this 24 7 afk so i'm going to take you right through the steps for this glitch it involves the outlast contract it is very very easy to do and you can do this solo or as a team it does not matter so let's get right into the steps for this glitch you can do this anywhere on the map and i highly suggest again that you do it in tier two now if you have access to pack a punch level through crystals obviously tier two is the best place to do this i wouldn't suggest tier three just because you don't get a lot of benefit or bang for your buck if you will so go ahead and find yourself a tier two or tier one contract for outlast and what you're going to do is essentially run up the percentage what you're going to do is run it up until it is above 90 and then you're going to go ahead and cancel the contract keep in mind if you are on on a team then you're going to have to wait for them to accept the contract as well so just make sure everyone is paying attention many times i have started an outlast contract and essentially let it run to 100 not paying attention and had to go to another location so what's going to happen whenever you cancel above 90 percent is the zombies will not stop spawning now if you're in tier two you will also get special zombies that spawn as well as dogs tier one i'm pretty sure dogs do spawn for all outlast contracts maybe even special zombies i'm not going to verify that because simply put i do everything in tier two honestly so next up let's go over the war zone methods so these are super super easy to do and i highly suggest that you do them in the new loaded resurgence mode it's going to give you the best advantage for xp rates while it's still around so make sure you have a decoy grenade frag grenade and then for your perk package scavenger double time resupply and ghost now you're also going to need obviously Obviously a weapon that you want to level up for I would highly suggest that regardless again of what your objective is if your objective is player level still bring in a low level weapon that you have that doesn't have any attachments etc because each level that you get in each camo that you unlock also gives you general XP so what you're gonna be doing is going into loaded resurgence as a solo player make sure fill squad is turned off you can do that at the bottom left of your pregame lobby menu so once you get into the game, what you want to do is throw your decoy grenades immediately into the most populated area. So what I like to do is I like to pull my parachute early and make sure that I know where all the players are dropping and fighting. Typically, that's somewhere around prison. And what you're going to do is throw your decoy grenades first and foremost. Now, I don't know if your uh, field supply actually just always spawns on you right when you start it likely does i can see it on the right there on this lobby as well long story short throw your resupply if you have it i highly suggest that you have that little armor
armory box with you also what you'll see now is the utility box that you've seen around and it'll be able to uh you know let you resupply your decoy grenades and so your goal here as you can see those decoy assists popping up is to be getting decoy assists while you're getting kills but not only that here's another tip for you guys that is extremely important what you want to do is prioritize surviving when you first land because if you play this game mode by yourself every time that you land every time that you touch the ground whenever you respawn you have a timer usually from 10 to 20 seconds that you have to wait for in order for you to actually respawn next time and not lose the game so what you want to do is avoid players for that amount of time then immediately go gung-ho throw a couple of decoys into the areas that you see other players fight them if you die you die if you can't find players you hold your grenade and you respawn that way that way you can maximize the amount of xp that you're getting without wasting it lastly we have multiplayer now for multiplayer i highly suggest that you have a similar class setup that you did in resurgence you can see i have my bp50 out but i also now have a couple of attachments for it now for multiplayer i would highly suggest that you at least get an optic on your gun just because it makes it a lot easier to actually get the kills here versus in resurgence it really doesn't make that much of a difference but what we're going to be searching for is small map mosh pit we're going to have scavenger gloves we're going to have decoy grenades and a frag grenade as well as a low level bullet weapon just so that we can start leveling it up while we are doing this so what you're going to do is throw your decoy grenades and then hold a grenade if you don't immediately find people but you're going to get into the groove of things like i did here and you're going to notice look in the middle of the screen you can see the decoy assists keep coming up but i'm also fighting enemies and getting kills so it's important that you pay attention to whatever your sight lines are and if you can't immediately find an enemy make sure that you hold a grenade until you die and then you can respawn instantaneously so this isn't like resurgence you don't have to maintain anything you will be destroying your kd if you focus more on the decoy grenades but generally speaking what i like to do is throw both my decoys try to get a quick kill or two to even out my kd and then after that i just at this point for example i should have held my grenade and what that's going to do is you're going to save all this time that you see me wasting right here in order to actually respawn and do it again you see i realize it there i down myself and then i immediately have two decoy grenades again so each kill that someone else makes you're going to get that decoy assist as you can see there you're also going to get assist for shooting your gun and you also also need to be aiming just for normal kills so generally speaking if you're on stash house for example this map is extremely easy to continuously get kills on like you can see here and so what i'll typically do is throw both my decoy grenades run through the middle of the map go gung-ho and let someone kill me essentially you can see here i have my pistol out i'm not really caring what i'm shooting the main goal here is to just add up as many points as possible because a lot of them will be going to your gun so if you guys appreciate this video make sure you hit that like button subscribe leave any questions down below and i will catch you in the next video.